To most of us, MagSafe is a tech incorporated to help with charging our smartphones without plugging it in. It's a comfortable and easy way to do so, right? Well, this video might change the way you view MagSafe or the magnetic charging feature on smartphones. Welcome back to Purvika. In this video, let's take a look at tech behind MagSafe and the new upcoming Android equivalent to the market called MagDart by Realme. MagSafe is a feature that Apple bought to their laptop chargers back in 2006. Yes, you heard it right. We saw MagSafe on laptops even before they were a cool and hip thing on iPhones. MagSafe was a simple concept. They had the charging pins aligned with the port on the MacBook on its own by incorporating magnets onto the sides of the charging tips. This ensured that if by some chance the cable gets tripped on, MacBook does not fly across to the other side of the room along with the cable, which was a problem for several laptops. Surprisingly, MagSafe equivalent was never successfully implemented by the competitors on their laptops, on the Windows side of things. Something else to make a note of was the incorporation of these magnetic connectors for several devices that we use today. Smart band chargers, even the TWS earphones on their charging case use the same tech and we might just have to thank Apple for popularizing it. Now fast forward to 2020, we witnessed the launch of iPhone 12 series along with the all new MagSafe feature. What is the difference here? Well, for starters, it's not the pins that align, but the wireless charging dock. One of the biggest criticisms that Apple received when they launched their iPhones with wireless charging capabilities was the fact that they sometimes miss the alignment on the charging plate and the device does not charge. One thing we know about Apple is that they take their criticisms very seriously and find solutions. And that's when they said, how about letting the charger align on its own to the smartphone? And voila, we have the MagSafe. MagSafe is made possible with the help of 18 magnets aligned circularly on the backplate of the iPhone. MagSafe does not stop there. Apple goes one step ahead, adding accessories to use MagSafe in various ways. The most obvious one being the back case, the wireless charging dock, a small wallet pouch that attaches itself to the back, and as recently, a battery pack that snaps onto the back side that wirelessly charges your iPhone. It was only time before we had an Android equivalent of the MagSafe and it's almost here with Realme announcing MagDart along with the first Android smartphone with wireless magnetic charge support called Realme Flash. The smartphone maker has developed a 50 watt wireless magnetic charger with heat vents, a monstrous design compared to the usual MagSafe charger we saw in Apple which hits a maximum of 15 watt. Realme claims this to be the fastest wireless charger. In the same event, they introduced their wallet, a charging power bank similar to the Apple battery pack which magnetically attaches to the backside and finally a photography light or a beauty light for better selfies. We have to leave it to Android for the most wackiest of experiences possible with the magnetic feature. The ecosystem's possibilities are infinite. We could have a charging stand on our cars which is magnetically attached, a table stand to hold the smartphone to use it hands-free when needed, maybe attach a fan that can be activated by the battery of our phones wirelessly. We could even have our wireless earphones and the charging case designed in such a way that it attaches easily to the backside so that we don't forget them while we are on the move. We could have gaming set enhancers like trigger switches, etc. attach onto the backside. If you are a photography enthusiast, how about adding different lenses or ND filters onto your phone's camera? We could even extend our memory by attaching an SSD to the backside while staying connected to the smartphone. These were the interesting ideas that we could think of. Let us know what other ideas or concepts you would have for this feature on the smartphones down on the comment section. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was informative. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on that bell icon. And we will see you on the next one.